Good morning, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while. I had to cross the border a few weeks ago to see Blackpink in Chicago, did it by plane, and legally of course. It was pretty great. The vibes, the energy, customer service was actually top notch because they gave me a gift for attending the concert called the flu. I just wanted to hear the song Lovesick Girls not become one, so for a week, I only spoke in coughs and horrible hacking noises, which, fun fact, only 1% of the population speaks. I had to wait until I could speak normally again. And I'm back! <coughs> in this day and age, when everyone wants to show off how nice they look on social media, it gets boring just posting a picture of yourself on Instagram, which is why we invented trends and challenges. For some reason, we're like hardwired to follow what everyone else is doing. Everyone's watching Love is Blind? Sure, I'll tune in. Um. Everyone's pouring ice water on themselves for charity? Bring me a bucket. Everyone's learning limb twisting K pop choreography? I just dislocated my shoulder. So you know China, right? The country that makes a lot of products that we use, and the birthplace of famous Chinese superstar John Cena. <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely at least half Chinese. Chinese social media has created some of the most insane challenges and trends, involving people's bodies, mainly the skinny ones. And if you're not in the right headspace to talk about weight or body image, you can always watch a different video or come back another time. But on average, East Asians tend to be on the skinnier side compared to the rest of the world. Genetics play a big part. Their diets usually consist of a lot of rice, vegetables, not as much meat as Western diets, and the unhealthy kind of fast food isn't on every other street corner. Plus, being thin and lean in Asia is the most desired body type. Everyone's conforming and feeling the pressure to fit in. If you fit the standard, then chances are you'll be treated better, you'll have a higher chance of finding a job, and you'll have more opportunities open to you. <laughs> and some of these are fine. It's just a fun challenge that you're not supposed to take too seriously, like this one, where you can see how many times you can wrap your headphones around your waist like some sort of DIY belt attached to your stomach instead of your pants. And if you can tie them around your waist multiple times, it just means you're that much skinnier. Hey, look what I can do. Dude, those are gonna get like hella tangled. Okay, but I wrapped them around my waist like 10 times, so... Yeah, why'd I do this? I'm thinking the inventor of this challenge was probably an AirPod user. No one who owns a pair of headphones would willingly set them up to be tangled like this. You know how hard it is to untangle these? I'd rather watch a compilation of people drawing tiny waists on mirrors and posing next to it. That is very specific. <laughs> Okay, I don't doubt that you can make your waist look super tiny, especially with angles and sucking in really hard. And yeah, maybe some of these people are super fit and thin, but you ever play with the filters on any social media app? Douyin, which is the Chinese version of TikTok, seems to have filters built into every nook and cranny, so you can adjust your features as much as you want. You can tell people aren't really being honest when their waist starts getting blurry, and you're wondering if your vision is getting worse, or if your glasses are just dirty. Is it just me? Or are the walls moving. I didn't know a video could make me motion sick and give me vertigo at the same time. Either there's a mini earthquake happening in there, or every filter is turned up to max volume. Sometimes the body filters are so overdone that people are developing new body proportions that aren't even human. You're telling me from her waist to her knee is larger than her entire upper body? Um, isn't that how flamingos are built? Hey babe, guess what? New flamingo body proportion just dropped. You tell me if you notice anything weird going on.
And you ever see those Asian street fashion videos where everyone looks at least six feet tall? Well, that's just the leg filter working overtime. And we're not trying to body shame here. It's just that no one's leg to knee ratio should be the entire size of your body. Or maybe some people are built like that. I don't know. Apologies to anyone that is shaped like a flamingo. You are welcome to file a complaint to HR. Anyways, we'll take a look at some other weird challenges that have been trending. Keep in mind, none of these people actually look like this in real life. No one walks around in life stuck at a permanent 45 degree angle to showcase your slim waist and sharp jawline. That would be weird. Okay, so there's something called the A4 waist or paper waist challenge, where you stand behind a piece of paper and try to hide your waist. And if you're able to do that, congrats! It means you fit the beauty standard and you get to show off how thin you are. Yao Shang. Oh, A4. A4. No, I don't have Okay, that's really close. Okay. Really? All right, yeah. It's not even close. No. Chinese netizens have accepted the latest internet fitness challenge. The challenge is simple. Hide your slim as f waist behind a sheet of 4A paper, which measures 21 centimeters in width and 29.7 centimeters in length. And while mostly women have completed the challenge with some ingenuity, men too have been successful. So you're telling me that all my internal organs are supposed to fit in a sheet of paper? What the hell? That's like eight inches. Well, the good news if you can do this, if you work in a paper factory and someone's trying to rob you, every sheet of paper is a potential hiding spot. Bad news, you might need to evict at least one kidney and possibly a spleen because there is not a lot of real estate there. Like with these challenges, where you try and cover your entire waist using your hands, aka a DIY corset, or this trend, where you try and touch your belly button by going behind your back. Oh, Isn't this just a how flexible you are challenge or a dislocate your shoulder challenge? Hey, if you got long arms and a dream, anyone can do this. Even this guy can do it. Who thought of this? I I'm questioning the validity of this challenge. Okay, this is when it starts getting weirder. Collarbones and slim shoulders are a really popular beauty standard in Asia. The ideal look is 90 degree angled shoulders because it makes you look sleek and gives you a sharp silhouette. It's also supposed to make your neck look longer. What are we? Triangles? Why are we measuring our body proportions down to the angle? I'll have you know that my ancestors are the proud owners of 110 degree shoulders. Their necks are like tree trunks. <laughs> There's even articles like Top 4 Female Idols with Perfect Shoulders According to the Korean Beauty Standard And here comes the rise of the collarbone challenge How many coins can you rest on your collarbone? The more, the better According to the collarbone challenge that emerged on Weibo in 2015 In theory, the thinner you are, the more pronounced your collarbone is To demonstrate this, women began posting pictures all over Weibo showing themselves Balancing stacks of coins on their collarbone Many netizens engaged in various spin-offs of the challenge in an effort to point out how ridiculous it was, since in reality, how prominent one's collarbones are doesn't necessarily equate with one's fitness or health. Pictures emerged online of people balancing chocolates, phones, and even beer cans on their collarbones. Are we at the circus? This is the collarbone challenge, where girls and even men would show how deep their collarbone is by stacking as many coins as possible inside their neck. Okay, basically, you just have a built-in pocket next to your neck. Hey, if you ever wanted to rob a bank and forgot to wear pants with pockets, I guess you can stick a bunch of toonies in your collarbone. That's like $100. This trend started a while ago, and recently, it resurfaced again, when Chinese actress Chen Shu posted photos of herself with a lipstick sitting on top of her collarbone. New collarbone skill unlocked. Her caption reads, Join me in this challenge. Within 24 hours, the Weibo topic attracted over 150 million views and 18,000 comments, with many netizens sharing photos photos of themselves attempting the challenge. The reason why people like doing these challenges is because it's easy. Anyone can pick up their phone and film themselves balancing things on their collarbones. It takes like 10 seconds. The weirdest one I've seen is people putting fish into their collarbones. Like actual live fish that are alive and swimming. I mean, I do get the shock factor and the clickbait, but come on, fish already have it hard enough. 
They're fish. They live in a bowl, and a fish funeral usually involves getting flushed down the toilet. Nowadays, the spread of information is so quick because of new technology and social media. People are seeing these trends and understanding that being thin is what everyone should aim for. <laughs> Even clothes are becoming a hot topic of discussion, like with the clothing brand Brandy Melville, who is very well known for not being inclusive of different sizes and body types. BM is the brand Brandy Melville. It's a first-hand brand from Italy. I think because of the but Chinese people love this brand because if you fit in these clothes, then you fit the beauty standard. And if you can't fit these clothes, you can always make an effort to shop exclusively in the kids section so you can post about it online and show off how tiny you are, which does sort of seem like a scam to me. Why do kids' clothes cost the same amount as adult clothes when there's less fabric? I don't know. Seems like someone's getting scammed. The children's section at Uniqlo China also made headlines as adult women flocked to the brand's fitting rooms to snap selfies trying on kids' clothes. Well, what other crazy things are we going to come up with next? These body trends have gotten to the point where they're so ridiculous that no one has to be doing these seriously. I hope. What's the point of being skinnier than a piece of paper? It's not like paper has important vital organs and things to do every day, like eat food to survive and work. It's fine to do these challenges if you really want to, but don't take them too seriously, because everything on social media is basically half a lie. I did hear the YouTube algorithm was planning on robbing a bank using its collarbones, and it's willing to split the earnings with you if you leave a like and a comment on this video. Your engagement always helps me pop up on your recommended, and I'm always down to visit a friend in prison. Have a good day, try not to be dumb, and I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully I'll be less sick.